If you're looking to invest in Cleveland real estate, you've come to the right place. We help investors all over the world invest in Cleveland real estate, right? We started here with the education and then we do the boots on the ground work. Today we're going to be going over a duplex that I believe is going to make a ton of money, but I'm not just going to tell you the good. I'm going to tell you the bad. I'm going to tell you what's going on with it, why it's been sitting on the market for so long. This is Cleveland due diligence, folks. Let's get into it right now. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show. My name is James Wise. I will be your host. This is Holton Wise TV. If you're trying to become an investor in Cleveland, you best subscribe, right? Today, I'm working one-on-one -on -one with a man named Chris. Chris, you're an investor in Cali. And real quick, folks, if you're watching this video and you ain't Chris, it's not in real time. You don't get the bid on this property. Sent it to Chris privately months ago when it was in real time. If you want to work with me in real time, shoot us an email. Include your phone number. We'll call you, talk to you about the process. Chris has already gone through all that, and we're working together one-on-one. -on -one. And Chris, you're looking to get some multifamily. You like B, high C grade neighborhoods. I got a neighborhood that's very, very nice, a little bit off the radar, and I'm going to break down the pros and cons as well as every dollar that goes in and out of this investment. And it's actually been sitting on the market for a little while, and I'm going to tell you why, and I'm going to just go through the whole friggin' thing. And then if it makes sense after that, you want to bid on it, I'll be your broker. You don't want to bid on it, that's fine too. We're going to move on to the next deal and the next deal and the next deal because you got me for 10 videos, brother, and that's what I do. I work for you, not the seller. Let's jump into it right now. There are two sides to wholesaling. Bodacious marketing to attract motivated sellers and data-driven analytics. Together, they're a match made in heaven. This is our wholesaling course. Let the light get by the doors! Welcome back. Let's get into this property, okay? This is quite a nice investment. I, I, I do like this one quite a bit. I think some serious money can be made. Little duplex action, right? Check out that. Okay, we got some duplex action here, folks. Now, as you'll notice, all the photos are outside. Sometimes people freak out when that happens. Don't worry, I'm going to talk to you about that. That is normal when you have an occupied rental property, right? The address, 356 4th Street, Elyria. 44035. 104,000 is the price point spent on the market for a very long time, 118 days. We're going to talk about all that, right? First thing I want to talk about the photos. People freak out when they see rental properties that don't have interior photos. They're like, ah! Ah! What are they hiding? They're trying to trick me. Bruh. Possible, unlikely. If I see if I see hoof marks, I'm thinking horses. Does that mean it's impossible it was a zebra? No, but it's probably horses, okay? Tenants are tough, okay? Tenants are tough, folks. Dealing with tenants is tough. Most of the time, tenants don't want you in their house, okay? <laughs> they don't like that. Think about it. Would you like a bunch of fucking assholes coming in your house? No. And then, you know, where we're at today, we're in a post-COVID world. Jesus Christ. Nobody wants people coming in their house, right? So they make that difficult, right? And in reality, the interior, it's not that important, okay? There's really going to be nah, nothing, not, not much at least, that sways my opinion on this property. There's really going to be no surprises here. Here's the deal. You got two very long-term tenants in there, right? They've both been paying $700 a month, right? The listing agent put that on the, the listing right here, right? We got a three-bed, one-bath at seven, a two-bed, one-bath at seven. Now, market rent is much higher. Those are below market rents. Market rents is going to be $850 and $750, so $1,600 a month, $19,200 a year. Now, long-term tenants, the reason I don't care that we don't have pictures of the inside of their unit is because there ain't no fucking scenario 
where when these long-term tenants move out, you don't have to do a pretty decent-sized unit turn, right? I'm sure you're repainting everything. I'm sure if there's carpet, you're replacing it. I'm sure there may be hardwood under the carpet, and you should refinish it when it comes time to turnovers. I'm guessing you're going to want to upgrade your kitchen and your bath Home Depot Lowe's quality. There ain't no scenario where you get these long-term below-market rent tenants where they move out and you just fucking sweep the shit up and then it's all good, right? So I don't really need to know much because there's not going to be anything that's going to tell me anything great, right? I know some investors out there are living in la-la land thinking they're, you know, it's probably going to be some difference between what the unit looks like in this property or this property or this property, right? Long-term tenants, you're always doing a big old turn, okay? You want to harden it as much as you can at that big turn, right? So maybe you get lucky and the investor already hardened some of the stuff by removing, like, ceiling fans or removing carpet and refinishing the hardwoods. Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. Unlikely, right? Just assume you're going to have to do a big turn. But you want to try to keep these folks in there as long as you can. They're long-term tenants. They're proven payers, right? First of all, I gave you the market rents. Again, eight fifty, seven fifty. Why do we need to be in a rush to get to the market rents, dude? These people are paying seven hundred and seven hundred. Keep them, keep them in there, okay? Keep them in there as long as you possibly can. Avoid doing that turn because turns are what kill our returns. If I had the opportunity to leave these two in there at seven hundred a month for the next ten years, I would probably do it. That's very close to market rent. So that's my thought. On that, as far as some bigger ticket items, let me just give you the rundown from the listing agent. Great downtown location, historic duplex that has long-term tenants and will, would love to stay. Both units have a large open eat-in kitchen, new furnaces, hot water tanks, about five years old. First floor is three bed, one bath. Second floor is two bed, one bath. Tenants pay their own utilities with the exception of water, sewer, and trash. Right? Uh, let me give you the breakdown. This is what it's going to look like long-term. 16 hundo comes in. Fixed and variable expenses all estimated in there. Where I have your water and sewer, that's also going to include the trash. It's like in there. It's all one thing. It's not like a separate bill. Now, that leaves you with the NOI 833.50 or 10000 for the year if you buy it at the list price, which I believe you should, even though it's been on the market a long time. I'll discuss that in a second. You're looking at approximately a 23.3% estimated cash on cash return with a $26,000 DP. Bank kicking in 78. That's what's great about this game, folks. Tenants are going to pay off that mortgage. So you get an investment that the bank is paying most of the money for, and then the tenants pay off your mortgage, and then you make some cash on top. That's why real estate's awesome. If you are this far into the show and you did not yet know that real estate is awesome, I highly recommend you subscribe to Holton Wise TV because we explain to you a lot about real estate being awesome. But what we differ from other people is we also explain the difficult stuff. Now, it's awesome, and I think it's worth every bit of 104. Why has it been on the market for so long, right? A uh, couple reasons. Number one, Illyria, off the radar. I like Illyria better than Cleveland, actually, right? Because Illyria is off the radar. I think the government's easier to deal with, and I think the prices are not inflated as much because it's not on the national, uh, national stage, right? Nobody talks about uh, the Illyria Cavaliers, the Illyria Indians, or Guardians if you're a woke-ass motherfucker, the Illyria Browns, right? No, it's Cleveland, 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 Cleveland. Cleveland's on the national stage. Nobody really knows about Illyria. It's one thing. Second thing, this used to be priced much higher, okay? And then it was also under contract for a while. I believe their buyer just flaked or something like that. So those are the three reasons. Absolutely, I think you're going to have competition at 104. I don't think it's just like super overpriced and like you can get it at 80. Highly doubt you can, okay? So 104 is the price point, and I think it would be an awesome deal. Illyria, super solid. High C-grade property. I believe Illyria has a more stable tenant base and is easier to deal with like than a lot of the, the blue-collar neighborhoods we work in Cleveland, right? So I really, really like this deal. I really, really like the cash flow. They even told you they got some newer mechanicals, right? Hot water tanks, five years old. They last about 15 years. They only cost a grand to replace. Furnaces last about 30 years. These are newer. I think you're in the money here. Do I anticipate you having a brand-new roof? No. It's probably towards the end of its life cycle. And again, eventually you're going to have to do those unit turns. But that's pretty much par for the course for duplexes priced like this in this market. All told, super solid deal. I really like it. I definitely want to see you move forward with this one because this is a solid investment. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.